Hello, this is Patrick, and I'm finally putting out the video on the LA Auto Show. Now, this happened during the Cybertruck event down in LA, so I went on over to see what the other automakers are doing in terms of electric vehicles. And to my surprise, Bollinger Motors was one of the first things that I saw. It was kind of hidden behind a staircase on the way in, but they had both their B1 and B2 pickup trucks. Now, these are pretty large, off-road, rugged vehicles. And they're custom made. They cost $125,000. They have a 120 kilowatt hour battery with a greater than 200 mile range. They have some really unique features like the, the pass through in the front that goes all the way through the back. There's both the pickup and the SUV versions. They're a really good option. They're a little, they're a little pricey if you compare them to something like the Cybertruck, but it's something that's gonna be available later this year and they are taking reservations right now. These are a little bit more old school in terms of features. You don't have the full self-driving or luxury. They're just built to be really rugged work or off-road type electric vehicles. When walking into the LA Auto Show, the larger showroom floor had Nissan's Nissan Leaf right up in front, so they're pretty proud of it. They've got their they have their 150 mile range leaf, as well as the new 226 mile range leaf. These are pretty affordable, and I see these on like different electric utilities. They have special group buys and rebates, and these things can be had for the $20,000 range. Or if you wanna pick up a used leaf, you can get a really good deal. Now, they don't have active cooling like a Tesla, so they're not, particularly great in hotter climates like Arizona. People have reported uh, greater range loss, especially when using level three charging for Chadmo. But I think it's I think it's a great option for people. And then walking a little bit further back, you run into the Ford booth. And even though it's in the back, it's a huge display of the new Mustang. Now this is the SUV fully electric Mustang that they debuted just a couple days before the LA Auto Show and they seem pretty proud of it. Although, personally, I was a little bit disappointed in the marketing of like, well, you know, this is good for an electric car, or, you know, you'd be surprised at how good electric cars are. They're not saying like, this is the best Mustang. Um, and a lot of Mustang lovers don't think of it as an SUV, and they're not particularly fond of the shape. They're, they're they like these more complex ICE vehicles. Like, you can see what goes all into an internal combustion car, and it's it's pretty um, extensive. The simplified drivetrain of the EVs are just so much cleaner. Having had only electric vehicles for the past few years, it's pretty hard for me to go look at normal cars. <laughs> Non-EVs, I just, I just can't get excited about them anymore. And the plug-in hybrids that are around, I used to be super excited about plug-in hybrids, but now it's like, why? Why do we Why do we even need a plug-in hybrid? The charging infrastructure has gotten so much better and the range has gotten so much better. Concentrate more on growing those networks versus trying to put out these, you know, splitting the baby type, not a great gas vehicle, not a great electric car vehicle, but something in the middle. We don't, we don't need it anymore, I don't think. Uh, but here we are and there's still really no plug-in pickups. There is a plug-in van that's actually weird because they just call it a hybrid. They don't refer to it as a plug-in, even though it is a plug-in and it has a 30 mile range. I think that the Pacifica hybrid's actually a pretty good little van. It's interesting to see the Karma brand. This, the, this used to be Fisker, but they have, uh, they have plug-in hybrids as well as uh, concept all electrics. Pretty cool looking concept vehicles. Still, again, not 100% electric on most of them, and also very costly. Electrify America was at the show. Now, these are level three charging up to 350 kilowatts. They're placing them at pretty much Walmarts across the nation, as well as some other locations. And the first phase is pretty decent. They're catching up to this Tesla supercharger network, and a lot of EV makers are announcing plans to work with them, such as, such as Byton. I finally had a chance to see the Jaguar I-Pace. It looks like a normal ICE vehicle, but it's electric in my eyes. 
not my thing, but a cool option for people. Toyota's still all in on their Mirai fuel cell car. I I just I don't I don't get it. But you know, any alternative is something to look into, I suppose. Then they were showing off their concept vehicles that have been around at CES and auto shows for years. Very strange, kind of far out there things. A lot of that from the traditional automakers. These, these concept vehicles, they look really cool, but there's no word on them ever coming out. Or if they do come out, will they be anything even remotely close to what they're showing on the showroom floor? A lot of pickup trucks, a lot of different special tailgates that's kind of the big thing is what can you do with your tailgate to make it interesting this one has a stereo built into it in the back of course the i8 looks cool i had a chance to drive one at ces a few years back i didn't get to use the electric mode it was in hybrid gas mode and it kind of sucked but it was cool looking hard to get into but cool looking <laughs> the mini cooper came out pretty disappointing range but still hey another electric vehicle why not and this Lexus, it looks very unique. It's, it's interesting. People call the Cybertruck ugly, but futuristic. Then there's this. Looks very futuristic. The end of it's weird. Fishtail. I, I don't know. <laughs> and then Mercedes, kind of going the other way around. They've got a futuristic looking old school buggy roadster thing. Kia Soul EV, upgraded range, the 240 mile range. Give me a good little EV. So this is the Kia Habanero, and it's, it's hot. <laughs> it's an all electric, all wheel drive, over 300 mile range concept vehicle. And it's supposed to have like sensors and monitor you to cheer you up and play happy music if you're feeling sad. And, just a concept, but kind of an interesting one. You can see on the side, instead of mirrors, which all concepts never have, the cameras. The interior looks like literally nothing, so I don't know what, what that means. <laughs> Maybe self-driving, or they just haven't finished it. So this is the Jaguar I-Pace behind me. It's got a range of 240 miles. So this thing is just straight up tiny. A lot of very strange things like this Bugatti Chiron that was built out of Lego pieces. Very interesting displays. You have to admit the automakers spent a lot of money on showing these things off on how their technology is and how their cars are built. Here at the Chevy booth, the bolts back in the corner, only electric vehicle, only one that's plug-in. Kind of sad. Overall, I was pretty happy to see the amount of EVs, although I wish there was more and I wish they were putting them more out on the market. I mean, look at the Tesla enthusiasts. I mean, we've got people here that make their own Tesla trucks because they're not willing to wait around for Tesla to make theirs, as well as the rabid fan base. I mean, you've got, you just don't see this with other automakers. You've got people dressing up and attending events and it's just, it's just crazy with Tesla. And I think other automakers need to make a product that can get people this excited. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> so this is all custom made? Sort of, yeah. More or less. Thrown together, a bunch Sweet. of pieces. <laughs> Think Elon's going to dress up too? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Here, get, get the light. I don't know if the light works. Uh, okay, there we go. Yep, yep, you can see it now. Oh, it's a T. Slick. Please subscribe to the ch channel if you haven't. Uh, this is Tesla Trip. Also on twosmartguys.com, I'll have more videos from CES throughout the week and shortly after. Thank you guys. See you next time.